Okay, so now that our project has been set up, the first thing we need to target is are the models. So models is going to represent the data that we want to display on the view, on the screen. All right, so let's go to the model folder and add a new file. So our model is going to represent a question of the exam. So what can be a good uh, name for that particular file as well as the class? A question. So let's go ahead and create a file, a class called question. All right. Your class names or your structure names should be singular. I mean, it's nothing is preventing me for creating a class called questions. But when you create a class, when you create a model, make sure that the name is singular, meaning question. It represents a particular question. It's a blueprint of a question. So let's go ahead and create that. There we go. You can see that it's there's no code over here. So now I can go ahead and create my question class or the question structure. So I'm going to go ahead and let's start with a structure. Struct question. Okay, so what will be different things inside this particular question? Well, it has to have some sort of a label, some, some, some sort of a text, which is going to be a question like, is the earth round, right? Is Shanghai the capital of China? Something like that. And right now we are limiting our questions to be only true and false. So a question will not really have choices as in the multiple choice question. So it will only be true and false right now. So let's go ahead and create that property. I'm going to go ahead and create a property called text, which is going to represent the text of the question. The other property that we can add to our question is the points associated with the question. Each question can have different points. So let's go ahead and add a property called uh, point. And then if the question is correct or is true or false. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's correct. And this can be a Boolean property. All right. So now that we have created a question, we can have a text associated with the question. We can have a point associated with the question. And our questions are only true and false question, yes and no. So that's why we have a answer. So if the question is, is correct or if it's not correct. So that's pretty much it for the model part of it. Now let's go ahead and see that how we can get started by creating our views for our application.